This is going to be a very simple beginner's guide in Legacy P. So if you're brand new to One Piece games, to Roblox, like Block Roots, then I'm just going to explain to you what you do in this game. So when you do join in, you can obviously see that you get brought to the Starter Island. Here you can accept loads of quests, there's multiple quests you can accept around the map, such as the Shanks quest as you can see. Something that I really like about this game is that you can literally just do like a ton of quests as you can obviously see. So, first quest, it's like a bandit beta game as you can obviously see, so we obviously gotta kill some bandits over here, but something else what you guys can do is this. So the location to get better items is going to be right in this building over here. As you can see, we got a health potion, we got a stamina potion, and we got other items such as this, the compass, we got a sword over here that you can also use. If you guys don't know already, if you press M on your keyboard, you can actually go ahead, open up your inventory as you can obviously see. This is where your items will get stored by pressing M. There's also codes in the game. We've got the release code, so redeem the release code like that. Something I really recommend you guys doing is making your way in the building to like where I'm going because you will find secret items around the map, guys, if you don't know already. But yeah, if you're wondering how you actually spawn in your boat, you have to go all the way over here, and as you can obviously see, if you talk to the ship sailor, you can spawn in a boat. It's kind of expensive to spawn in boats, maybe just because I just joined the game. But when you do join the game, guys, you gotta do the main quest, which is going to be over here. If you guys are wondering how you get fruits, just like the lock fruit, guys, you get fruits. You can find fruits around the map. You can also pretty much just get fruit by killing bosses as well. And I'm pretty sure there's a fruit dealer somewhere. I'll probably show you guys where the fruit dealer is in a moment. But first things first, we've got three defeat bandits attacking the bars. So let's do that right now. Alright guys, so that is how you level up in the game by doing quests. As you can obviously see, you guys should already know that for. And you just gotta keep on doing the same quests over and over again. And yeah, by just doing that guys, you get Balai. And by just, well, by playing the game, you just get used to it, obviously, as you guys already know. But yeah, I'm gonna try to show you guys other stuff in the game. Because you can actually get fruits in the game. And I'm pretty sure, like, a lot of you guys don't know how you get fruits, so... Yeah, I'm pretty sure there's actually going to be a shop somewhere. I'll be back, guys, once we end up finding. Here's some questions in the game, what you guys have been asking. So people have been saying, are there any stat points in the game? Where you use stat points to upgrade your strength. This game is based on... This is game is mastery based. There aren't any stat points. And everything scales with mastery level. You level your mastery by dealing damage with what you're leveling up. What that means is that if you're killing people with your sword, you're going to be leveling up your sword and your sword is going to be more of a power. So whatever you're using more, the more of a power it will be. So that's pretty much that explained. You might be wondering how you get fruit in the game, the only way to get fruit in the game is by finding them, by finding it on the trees. So you find fruit on the trees if you guys are wondering, so yeah, if those are fruit locations, just go around the map and you obviously find fruit guys by just traveling around the map. So just go around the map and you should actually go ahead and find some fruit guys. Because fruits are random locations. I did actually find the fruit guys on the on the starter island on the tree. So that's how you pretty much go ahead and find fruit guys. But yeah, as of right now, if that's all of the questions you guys have been asking, that's how you get fruit on the like trees and stuff. No stat point in the game, and yeah, you should really get used to the game for it's really, really easy to get used to the game. Thank you guys for watching, anyway, and peace out.